No standing eight box of podcast. We discuss every organization and weight class. With your host, Bronx Bomber, educated with the craft. Punch a topic hard like heavyweights hitting the bag from the top rank to the upcoming. Washed up to the dark horse. Champs, number one contenders. Quick jab or sharp cross. We saw Come get it. Tuning in, you can have it. Internationally known. Our information is valid. See, we on a higher plane. No two episodes the same. We get better as we train, so on top we remain. Come join the conversation, the same sight you gain. And then outside of the rain, we do the damn thing. Alright, fight fans, welcome to another edition of No Stand Aid Boxer Talk. This interview is brought to you by NewYorkFights.com. And today I have a special guest with me. Today I got uh, super middleweight contender, Yamaguchi Falcao, who just got the call to be a step-in fighter for uh, David Morrell on the undercard of the Javante Davis and Tank uh, uh, Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia card on April 22nd. Bienvenido, este fanático de boxeo. Hoy tengo un, una persona bien especial que me está acompañando el show de hoy, Yamaguchi Falcao que con solo una semana de anticipación le dejaron saber que va a pelear por el título mundial de la Super Middleweight Division contra el cubano David Morrell. Yamaguchi, thank you for having, uh, giving us New York Fights this opportunity to interview you. Yamaguchi, gracias por darle esta entrevista. How are you feeling? ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? Hola, amigo. Primeramente, muchas gracias por estar hablando acá más una vez contigo. Me alegro mucho. Yo estuve bien, muy contento con la noticia y vamos con todo. Uh, he says he is doing great. Uh, he's happy to talk with me again and he's doing well and he's happy with the news and he's ready to bring it all he has. Uh, Yamaguchi, the last time we talked, uh, you were searching for a major fight. You were calling out every super middle in the world from Demetrius Andre to Edgar Belanger and many others. You were trying to land the big fight, world title shot. La mejor la última vez que nosotros hablamos, tú estabas uh, te, buscando una pelea grande para poder alinearte para un título mundial. Llamaste a los lo super middleweights grandes como Edgar Belanga y este, Dimitris Andre y seguiste pe pidiendo esa pelea, pero nunca se formalizó esa pelea. Those fights never materialized. But now the time, yeah. has, now the time has come and you got a phone call. ¿Cómo te sientes? Este, pelear finalmente por un título mundial. How do you feel to finally get a shot at a world title? Eh, para mí, eh, la vida se, se complicó mucho porque lo, los grandes peleadores como Belaga, eh, Demetrio, eh, no, no querían pelear conmigo. Entonces, la vida se va pasando, el tiempo de boxeo va pasando, la experiencia, todo esto. Pero llegó mi momento, llegó mi momento. Ahora yo tengo David Morel por la frente. Es un muchacho buenísimo, un muchacho que tiene un buen boxeo. Pero yo soy un hombre, lo, lo, lo problema, yo sé los problemas. Entonces, para mí, estoy muy contento, muy feliz con, con esta pelea. Y vámonos, eh, yo, yo quiero hacer mi historia y ese momento. Yeah, life happens in cycles, and I was calling those guys and calling those guys out. Nobody wanted to fight me. But look, here I am now, and I got David Morrell in front of me, and I'm super, super excited. They call me the problem, because I'm going to be a problem that night for David Morrell, and that's my focus, and I'm su super excited for this for, for this world title shot. Yamaguchi, they let you know only with the week in advance, with the week left, because the, the opponent for David Morrell pulled out the fight because... Uh, he wasn't licensed to fight in the state of Nevada. They called you uh, with only a week in advance. This is the most important fight in your career. They only gave you a week's notice. How do you feel? Are you healthy? Uh, está, uh, are you ready to, to fight? Te avisaron con solamente una semana de anticipación para pelear más grande de tu vida, más grande de tu carrera. ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Estás saludable y estás listo para pelear? Sí, estoy listo, estoy saludable, estoy entrenado. Yo, yo soy un muchacho que, 
que toda a vida eu entreino, boxeio, boxeio vem de, de, de família, então você, você nunca vai encontrar Yamaguchi somente em la praia, somente comendo, bebendo, tu sempre vai encontrar Yamaguchi entrenando, em, em, motivado, é, uma coisa que eu tenho comigo, temos que estar sempre preparado quando a oportunidade bate na porta. Se não está preparado, você se roda. Então, eu estou sempre listo, sempre preparado. E essa peleia de Morel, para mim, é a, é a melhor oportunidade. Morel vai encontrar um, um, um monstro em tua frente, vai encontrar, encontrar Yamaguchi com gana de pelear, com gana de ganhar. Yeah, I'm ready to fight. I mean, I'm the type of fighter that, you know, I'm always disciplined. I don't drink. You won't find me at the beach hanging out. I always stay ready. And the reason why I always stay ready because you never know when you get a call like this. And, yeah, I, I stay training for moments and opportunities like this. The opportunity has come, and I'm going to show David Morrell. I'm going to stand right in front of him. I'm going to show him who, who I am, that I'm ready to fight and uh, capitalize on this moment. Uh, Yamaguchi, David Morrell is the champion, of, uh, super middleweight champion of the WBA and arguably one of the best super middleweights in the world. Uh, normally, for a fight of this magnitude, of this importance, you have an eight-week training camp. Uh, you didn't get that opportunity. How does someone prepare for the biggest fight against a big fighter like David Morrell in just one week? I know you said... I know you just said that you that, that you stay ready, but there's other things that you wish you would have had some time to prepare for for David Morrell. How do you get ready for a guy like David Morrell one week? Yabaguchi, David Morrell, who's a champion, este fuerte, quizás el mejor super middleweight de, del mundo. Normalmente te dan ocho semanas para prepararte para una pelea de, de ese nivel. ¿Cómo uno se prepara solamente una semana? Entiendo que estás preparado físicamente, te estás entrenando, pero cómo una persona se prepara para un peleador tan fuerte como David Morrell en solamente una semana. No, yo 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 trabajo muy duro en, en gimnasio. Yo tengo mi mi entrenador, mi equipo, entonces todos los tiempos yo estoy me preparando bien, me foco y yo tengo un foco, un foco muy grande que es un día pelear con, con Canelo, tener una oportunidad para pelear con Canelo Álvarez. Entonces, lo que viene, lo que viene, para mí, Morel es un buen peleador, tengo que hablar bien, no es un peleador cualquiera, es un campeón mundial. Pero yo tengo los sueños de pelear con Canelo, entonces, no es Morel que va a ir para ahora. Mas o maior que vai para a hora, eu tenho um caminho, um caminho grande pela frente e eu vou no que é Morel, eu vou no que é Morel e o mundo, o mundo vai se jogar. Yeah, look, I stay ready, I work hard, my team works hard, they prepare me for this moment. My goal is to fight Canelo. Uh, David Morel is a great fighter, I take nothing away from him and uh and and I'm and I'm focused on on David Morel, I'm really focused. But Morel's just in my way to fight Canelo. And uh, that's that's my ultimate goal. And uh, I'm going to capitalize on that moment. But, of course, obviously, uh, I'm focused on Morel and, and I put in the work. Yes. Ava Morel's a boxer that could do it all. He's, uh, he knows how to box. He knows how to move. Uh, he has power in, in both hands. And he has dominated every opponent he's fought with. Uh, he's fought... Uh, do you see a weakness that you plan on uh, exposing? Uh, and do you have a strategy uh, to be able to beat David Morrell? David Morrell is a boxer that does everything. Boxer very well, has a good pegada and has dominated the majority of his opponents. Do you see a debilidad that you plan to expose? And what is the strategy to be able to beat a boxer like David Morrell? Então, é, eu, é, quando corri uma medalha de bronze na Olimpíada de 2012, a medalha olímpica foi em cima de De La Cruz, um cubano, Julio De La Cruz, que estava em seu melhor momento na, 
en el boxeo Mateo. Eh, después ese muchacho fue campeón en 2016, fue campeón ahora, 2020. Entonces, ese muchacho es una gran experiencia para mí. El mundo no creía que Yamaguchi ganaba Julio de la Cruz de, de Cuba en aquella Olimpíada y gané la medalla. Entonces, yo cuando gané Julio de la Cruz, eh, chocó el mundo, todos no hablaron nada, ¿entiendes? Y muchas cosas se mudaron. Entonces, ¿qué? yo pienso que Morel la, será la misma cosa. Eh, yo entiendo fuerte, yo entiendo duro. Y entonces, cuando llegar el momento de la pelea, yo voy a mostrar que Yamaguchi es un problema para los, eh, para los cubanos. Yeah, listen, uh, I, I got a bronze medal in the Olympic Games fighting a keeper fighter, De La Cruz. Nobody thought that I would win, uh, and, 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 I, and I beat him, and I learned many things fighting uh, uh, that keeper. I shocked the world. Uh, I, I train hard. Uh, when the fight comes, I'm going to demonstrate to the world that I am a problem, and I'm a problem for Cuban fighters. Nobody uh, is giving you a chance to beat Morel. Uh, what do you tell the critics that, that, that say that you have no chance of beating David Morrell. Nadie espera que derrotes a David Morrell. ¿Qué le dices a los criticones que, que te critican? Dice que tú no tienes un chance para ganarle a David Morrell. Es la vida. Eh, somos un boxeador. Acá estamos trabajando duro y todos tienen una, una opinión. Todos saben lo que pasa. Pero, pero yo tengo mucha fe. Mucha fe y, y creo mucho en un hombre de, de arriba. A Dios. Entonces, yo sé que cuando peleo con los grandes, cuando peleo con gente que sabe boxear, Yamaguchi también sabe hacer eso muy bien. Entonces, ahí encima del ringue, tenemos dos hombres con la misma voluntad, dos hombres queriendo, queriendo ser, ser campeón. Yeah, look, it's life. Everybody has uh, something to say. Uh, you know, but I have faith in the one upstairs. And yeah, You know, David Morrell and, and all those guys are good fighters, but Yamaguchi is a good fighter too. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to demonstrate it to the world uh, that Yamaguchi can fight next week when I face David Morrell. How does this fight end? Uh, what is your prediction? ¿Cómo termina esa pelea? ¿Cuál es tu predicción? No, para mí, eh, yo, yo estoy con un plan de trabajo. Yo tengo un plan para hacer sin de Ingrid, ¿entiendes? Y para mí, Morel no pelea a los tres rounds. Para mí, Morel no pelea a los tres rounds. Eh, Morel no peleó con nadie. Esa es la verdad. Morel no, no, no pegó un puño duro. Morel no se sabe lo que es un puño duro. Bater es muy fácil. Tu atirar es muy fácil. Pero ser, ser atingido y ser pegado todavía. Y Morel va a sentir a la presión. Yeah, look, I have a plan. I've worked hard. Uh, Morel uh, hasn't fought anybody. You know, uh, he hasn't fought a hard puncher. Uh, he hasn't fought nobody, you know, of, of my caliber. And he's going he's gonna to know that night. He's going to know that uh, we're going to see how he deals with it when, when he fights uh, a high caliber fighter and somebody that can punch. And, and, and Morel has a hard time going the distance. He has a hard time uh, going 10, 12 rounds. So we, we will see what, what happens. Okay, campeón, sé que está su momento ocupado. I know that you're super busy. You got things you got to do. I appreciate your time. Te agradezco tu tiempo. Este, usted tiene la última palabra. You have the last word. ¿Qué les quiere decir a los fanáticos? What do you want to tell your fans? Y a la gente que te apoya. And the people that support you. Yo quiero primeramente agradecer a Dios. A Dios por, por, por la oportunidad por estar abriendo las puertas de, de mundo de boxeo para mí. Yo necesitaba eso mucho, mucho, mucho. Eh, lo que yo puedo hablar con mi, mi público fanático que le gusta de mi boxeo, eh, que ya me gusta está listo, está consciente eh, y quiere mucho la corrida mundial. Y nadie, nadie puede me pedir eso porque yo tengo... Eh, gana, yo tengo corazón para ganar y yo quiero hacer historia de boxeo. Entonces, todos contan con mi pelea y ya me gusta va a ganar. Yeah, listen, I, uh, I have faith to God. 
I tell all my fans that I'm ready to fight and I have the desire to fight and the will to fight and that my goal is to be a world champion to get that title belt. And I'm telling my fans that Yamaguchi is going to go in there and be a world uh, a world champion. Yamaguchi Falcao, gracias por esta entrevista. Thank you for this interview. Te deseo toda la suerte del mundo. I wish you all the luck cuando te enfrentes con David Morrell para el título mundial de la MMA Super Middleweight when you fight for the world w, uh, WBA World Super Middleweight title. Uh, wish you all the best of luck. Te deseo mucha suerte y este y y muchas bendiciones, a lot of blessings. Gracias. Thank you. Muchas gracias, Rodríguez. Muchas gracias por la oportunidad. Y acá estamos. Necesito de algo, me hablas. Y to... día 22, usted va a mirar un nuevo campeón mundial. Yamaguchi Falcon. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Jacob, for this interview. And Yamaguchi is the new Super Middleweight Champion. Yamaguchi Falcon is the new Super Middleweight Champion. Chat. Adios. Adios. No standing a box of podcasts. We discuss every organization and weight class with your host.